the first time I'm using Limbo AI, and this is one of the behavior trees that I'm using for one of the basic enemies that I have in my indie game. So let's go through it real quick. So we have the selector at the top, which is just the main one, right? That's gonna choose which sequence it's gonna be going through. The first one is the patrolling. So it, it checks to see if it's in patrol. I set the speed to be in walking state. I then go through a parallel sequence, which by parallel in here doesn't mean that it's actually running in any multi-threaded purpose or anything. So everything that's under this is running at the, in the same frame. So I have a sequence here that I'm checking to see if it's always able to find the target. And if by any chance it finds and can't see the target, it will change the state of the enemy to be pursued. Otherwise, if it doesn't see the target, I'm just patrolling at a 50% probability. It's just as normal, it just finds the random position and just patrols to that location. Then after reaching the destination, it waits about three to five seconds. And then it just redoes the patrolling sequence again until it finds a target. If it ended up finding a target, it will then go to the pursuit. It checks to see if the state is in pursuit state. And if it is, I change the speed to be in sprinting mode. And then it will go to the selector here, which then checks to see if it can see the target at all times. And if at any time it loses the target, it goes to investigate. Otherwise, if the target is always visible to the, to the enemy, uh, it just moves closer to the target. And as long as it's within a certain range of the target, it will then change to attack. It will stay in pursue until it reaches a certain point distance away from the target. And if it wants to reach this, it goes to attack. Otherwise, if it loses it, it goes to investigate. That's basically the pursue uh, sequence, the attack sequence. Uh, it checks to see if, it, if it's in an attacking state. And if it is, it faces the target. It does not attack pounds for right now for this target, for this enemy. And after it does the attack, it will go back to pursue state and redoes it again, which then if it will stay in pursue and attacking until it loses the target, basically. So basically, it will be switching between these two sequences until it loses the target. Otherwise, if it loses the target, it goes to the investigation sequence, which then double checks to see if the state is an investigate. And then we'll do a parallel between these two sequences that I have here, which one is investigating if at any time that uh, it sees a target, it would then change it to pursue and it will do go back to pursuing. Otherwise, it will go through here and repeat this three times. And inside this repeat uh, node, it just tries to look around three times. It moves to its last known position where it last saw the target. And once it reaches its destination, it waits about one or two seconds. It will then randomize the last known position to another location nearby. And after it reaches three times and it has not seen the target, that means it, that this completed correctly. And it will then go to patrol. And that's basically the behavior tree for this really easy NPC. I hope you guys enjoyed this run through of one of the behavior trees. That's still not the final state of this, but it's one of the initial as I'm learning the process how Limbo AI works. And hopefully I can keep improving this. And if you guys have any thoughts or feedback on this, feel free to post it in the comments. I will definitely read them. If you guys are interested in watching how I am working on my current indie game or any future games that I'm going to be working on this on this channel, feel free to follow me, subscribe so that you guys can follow me on my journey. But cool. I hope you guys are doing great and wonderful, and especially on these holidays. If you guys are celebrating any of the holidays coming up right now, happy holidays and wish you guys a great time with your families. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.